In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can build a structured Boolean search specifically targeting file types. Now, the operator file type will allow us to find specific file types like a PDF or a document or a text file, not just information on a web page. So let's take a look at how we build this. Let's just start with the term file type. Put a colon and let's just say we want to search for any type of a PDF just for this example. You'll notice here PDF, PDF, PDF and now if you were to click on this result it would actually give you a PDF um, a PDF file. So let's take a look we want to add in the file type doc DOC and that's going to get you a Word document. Now keep in mind we're looking for two different things here. We want a PDF or a Word document. So we have to add in the OR operator and since we're using OR we have to couple that in the nested boolean approach called the parentheses. That's all that means. Go ahead and hit search. Now we're going to get documents that are PDFs or documents. You probably won't see any documents on this page. It'll probably be later on in the search results. But let's open up Notepad. Let me just copy this and open up Notepad and let's start to build a real search here looking for some real resumes. Now in file types we usually look to incorporate three different types and that's PDF, documents, or text. TXT. And you can include any amount of file types that you want. You can look for SWF or MPEGs or MP3, anything like that. So let's go to the front of the search. Let's make some space here. And since we're looking for a resume, again, we're going to use the in title search. So anything, any web page that in the title has the word resume embedded is what we want to find or in the URL resume and we want to find that. So let's just copy this and throw that into the search criteria box and now we're going to start to see introduction to resume, one day workshop, resume sample, but they're PDFs and documents. So we're, we're on the right track but we don't want to see samples or we don't want to see job, uh, job opportunities. We want to see actual resumes. So you've got to use the exclusion or the minus the minus search okay so you don't want to see you want to exclude or take away so we want to take away anything that's a sample anything that's a job anything that says apply anything that says submit and you can add as many or as little as you want uh, so let's just go ahead and we'll throw that into the search bar and see what we get and copy and paste now we're starting to actually get resumes, okay? Resume of Gabriel and resume action verb. So we're getting closer, but we still have to refine it. So let's take a look at our search. We've got the in title resume, in URL resume. Let's go ahead and start to fill in our keywords. For this example, I'm just going to use New York and say engineer. And I want to know, I want to find somebody who's got some design. So let's go ahead and copy that and we'll throw that into the search results or the search criteria bar go ahead and hit enter now we're starting to get more resumes okay of people but we've got to refine that a little bit more to make that effective so let's keep the actual location but let's get a little bit a little bit more specific we're looking for somebody in New York but we're looking for an engineer who is either a design engineer or an electrical engineer and we're going to incorporate and close that in the parentheses as well and put a space and remember the space is the inferred end in Google so you don't necessarily have to put the word end and we'll just paste that and let's click search and now we've got all resumes design engineer resume uh, Deanne Stefan resume Scott Myers and so forth now we've got a listing of resumes just by building our search in a kind of methodical way uh, piece by piece so I hope that helps uh, in building a an in title and file type specific boolean search for resumes